now we are going to discuss some basic concepts about the heat the first is what is specific heat a specific heat is of two types gram specific heat and molar specific heat what does it means gram specific heat it means that to raise the temperature of 1 gram of any substance 1 gram of any substance by 1 degree centigrade the amount of heat required is gram specific heat means the heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of any substance by 1 degree centigrade is the gram specific heat it means if 1 gram 1 degree the heat required is say denoted i will denote by s this is s s is the amount of heat which is required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of any substance through 1 degree centigrade it means if i will take m gram substance then and 1 degree then i i am taking delta t from t1 to t2 then the change in temperature will be t2 minus t1 then the total heat will be m into 1 gram s so m gram ms simple unitary method and 1 degree ms then t2 minus t1 means delta t so this is the formula so no need to mock up this formula go by concept how this formula has come they are discussing on molar specific heat now you are able to answer this on the basis of the concept i have discussed in gram specific heat what is means molar mole is specific here gram was specific here mole is specific means to raise the temperature of 1 mole of any substance by 1 degree centigrade the heat required is molar specific heat we'll let denote it by c in many books or by many teacher the c the denotation may vary then calculating in the same way heat required to raise n mole of substance through delta t degree will be n multiply by c into delta t okay this formula you have to use when mole has been given in question and this formula you will use when mass has been given in question okay and the, don't need to mug up don't yaad nahi hai go by concept Okay. Then coming to the latent heat. One more thing, a specific heat is the heat uh, during raising the temperature. It does not include the physical conversion of one uh, substance from one state to another. When in when discussing about the latent heat, it involves the heat uh, which is involved in the conversion of a substance from one physical state to another physical state. And we know uh, when we convert one substance. from one physical to a state to another it will it, it occurs in the process known as isothermal process so that delta t will always be zero okay known uh, when physical state get change no uh, change in temperature as you know ice is also at 0 degree centigrade when it converts into water it is also at 0 degree centigrade okay then first discussing about the heat of latent heat of fusion what is latent heat of fusion latent heat of fusion is nothing when say one uh, when take the example ice ka jo latent heat hoga 80 calorie per gram it means if 1 gram ice is to be converted into 1 gram water okay at 0 degree centigrade then the heat required is 80 calorie it means if i will i want to convert m gram ice to m gram water the heat required is simple unitary method m into l because l is for 1 gram so m is for uh, q is equal to q is equal to q is for m gram okay this is in gram and this is in calorie per gram getting concepts let any of vaporization say example water ka 540 calorie per gram it means 
if you want to convert 1 gram water at 100 degrees centigrade because temperature should be constant for the latent heat 100 degrees centigrade to 1 gram vapor then it is required in 540 calorie heat so for conversion of m gram water you will need m into i will write lf latent of fusion air i will write lv latent heat of vaporization okay this is the general formula then i will use water i will write here i will use ice in fusion i will write here t uh, and for other substances the data of lf the value of lf will be provided in question no need to mug up the value of lf for other substances ek aur galti ho sakti hai yahan par kyunki hum shuru se hi jo question hame milenge usme hamesha water ice water ice hi rahega to jab questions mein dusra koi question aata hai matlab water ice ko chhod ke koi substance diya jata hai to aap wahan lf ke jagah par 18 hai put kar de aur lv ke jagah par 540 na put kare question mein dekhe ki us सब्सटेंस के लिए जो दिया गया लैटेंट हीट है वो क्या है क्योंकि लैटेंट हीट अलग-अलग सब्सटेंस के लिए अलग-अलग होगा ठीक उसी तरह स्पेसिफिक हीट भी अलग-अलग सब्सटेंस के लिए अलग-अलग जब वो क्वेश्चन में प्रोवाइडेड रहेगा वाटर और आइस का याद रखना है आपको ठीक है दे आर द बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स अबाउट द स्पेसिफिक हीट एंड लैटेंट हीट Now coming to discuss how will we apply the question, these concepts in question. First formula is our MS delta D. The second formula is ML. Okay. This formula you have to use only during state change. Only during a state change means solid to liquid or liquid to vapor. Where this formula you have to use during temperature rise, keeping the state of substance constant. Okay, keeping a state of substance constant, you have to use this formula, and this formula must be used during a state change. And I am again saying, don't mock up the formulas. I have discussed the concept. 